from harmless white lies to elaborate hoaxes. We all tell lies at some point in our lives, but have you ever wondered why we lie, how we do it, what the consequences can be? Well, stay tuned to find out. So the main question is, is lying really that bad? Well, yes, at least according to author Sam Harris. Sam Harris is an eloquent and logical thinker who loves the public spotlight. Just watch some of his TED talks or listen to his podcast. He did write a little book about lying. The fundamental thesis of this book is that there are enormous societal and personal benefits to rejecting lying in all its forms. The message is simple, just don't lie. But we do lie all the time, often without even noticing. Ready to gain some knowledge? Here are the main three things I learned reading his book. Let's start with the first one. Radical honesty can be liberating. Sometimes lying seems to be the easiest thing that we can do in a certain situation. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But picture the following scenario. You're lying to one of your friends. Sustaining this deception is a tedious task that will eventually lead to further lies down the line. Just thinking about it, that would be a significant burden. You would always have to keep track to prevent those lies from colliding with reality. And once exposed, your friend will know that you're a lying rat! On the other hand, telling someone the truth doesn't require any more work on your behalf, which in turn radically simplifies your social interactions. Sam Harris would put it that way. Honesty is a gift we can give to others. It is also a source of power and an engine of simplicity. So whenever it seems that lying is the easy way, think again. The second thing I took away from the book is that even white lies can unnecessarily erode trust. The following scenario will also sound familiar to most of us. Protecting a friend in order to not hurt their feelings. Whether it's not telling them that their work is mediocre or that the outfits actually don't really suit them. It seems like a simple untruth that has an added benefit, which is that you don't hurt their feelings. Well, one would say it's even a charitable thing to do. According to Sam Harris, however, when we presume to lie for the benefit of others, we have decided that we are the best judges of how much they should understand about their own lives, about how they appear, their reputations or the prospects in the world. We might both be wrong, but I think he is right. Hear me out. Protective lies are not only patronizing, they will also cause your friends to place trust and confidence on false assumptions. Assumptions upon which they will potentially base important decisions of their life. Or we could put it in more drastic words, lying is an assault on their autonomy. Of course, you will always need to be sensitive about the context of the situation and the subtext involved. But overall, honesty will benefit both them and your relationship in the long term. So if you get value out of this, please consider to hit the smash hit the smash button and smash the hit button. Like and subscribe. Okay, let's get to the last point before I will tell you my honest opinion about whether I would recommend that book to you or not. Lying is not only bad, but toxic. Well, thanks Captain Obvious. You probably learned that in kindergarten. And it's even one of the Ten Commandments. But stay with me, there's more to it. I think there could be a lesson that most of us do not pay enough attention to. Lying, understood as intentionally misleading when they would expect honest communication, is the root of so many consequential damages. The most important one, it degrades and undermines the very foundation that all relationships are built on. Trust. Harris would go even further and says, lies are the social equivalent of toxic waste. Everyone is potentially harmed by their spread. So we have to be mindful that we can hardly foresee the negative repercussions our lies may have. And in the grand scheme, that's true as well. Our society is built on a common perception and understanding of reality. And any lie that enters the public sphere attacks this very foundation. Okay, now let's get to the important question. Is this book worth your time and energy? I would start with a simple cost-benefit analysis. The cost being your time and energy, and well, the benefit of reading this book being the learnings you will have reading this book. Then I would go with a simple yes. It's an intriguing essay. It's logical, it's well-written, and it's only 47 pages long. I do think it really has the potential to open your eyes to the destructive forces of lying that may or may not trigger a radical shift in all your social interactions and relationships. So my recommendation is... 
give it a try. You can find the link to the book in the description below and make sure to also check out some other videos I made. Well, this is technically the first one, but others will follow. If you have already read the book, I would love to hear what you think about it. Just put it into the comments. Okay, but now I'll send you away with my favorite quote of the book. To lie is to erect the boundary between the truth we are living and the perception others have of us.